Hey guys, Kai from Kaizo Take a Corner, and it's my birthday today, so this video is going to be up on my birthday. But I, but I got this for my birthday: the Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. Now, sorry if the camera starts zooming in and stuff because it's going to be really out for. So I'm going to be doing an unboxing on this because I really wanted to do it. So here we have the front of the package. We've got the U, USK European. 12 logo and we've got the Peggy logo down on the bottom there. We've got the nice Bandai Namco Entertainment logo right down the corner. Nice Naruto S clouds and everything and Naruto and Sasuke on the side there. On the top we have the same logo on the top there. On the side here we have got Sage of Six Paths Modes Naruto on the side. PS4. On the other side we've got just standard generic Shippuden Sasuke. They didn't bother giving us his Sage Six Path design on here to match it. What I find fair but other than that and yet again PS4 as well. And on the back we have all the contents. We have Kagura Madara and Obito all in their Sage of Six Paths modes apart from Kagura. We've got the art book, we've got the game, we've got the steel book, we've got a metal plate and we've got the statue and we're all going to be taking a look at that. We're going to all take a look at that in a little while. Yeah, let's crack this baby up. up and for doing that I am going to be changing location again. So yeah, so let's open this up. Got a knife here so we can open it up with ease. Even though it's still wrapped in its cellophane, it's it's gonna be either just oh crap, did I damage did I damage the box? Hope not. Ooh, no I didn't. Good. So let's just use this now. Just to pry the cellophane off off the package. Ooh, I did slightly damage it. Yeah, I didn't notice that. Ooh, not very good for an anime fan of, of myself, but, and I was being careful as well, so let's just take this out of the silly thing. So yeah, so to unravel it, you want to just come to the bottom here, and just push this, pull this up, and then you want to just bend that back, pull that, and then open this all up. And it opens up with the art book here. The first contents of the book of the collector's edition is the art book. And this is a mighty fine art book as well. Nice picture of, of Naruto and the Sage of Six Paths modes. Cannot wait to probably give you guys a proper brief through this as well. So let's get the rest of the contents out and then we can crack down to the proper individual items and take a proper look for it. And here we have the metal plate of yet again Sasuke. Very I do love this. This all designs here. I really do love this type of Japanese type feel of the plate. Very plain on the back though. But very very nicely done here. Very nicely done. So we can put that off to the side. And then we've got a very small Oh, first off, here we have the game, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. Open it up, we've got the case, the game disc, and a poster. Really nice done, cannot wait to look at, we can't, not wait to show you off the rest of those. So, when that happens, we want to then come in here and bring out the still book. Yep, still book, pretty much nicely done. Same uh, same artwork on the designs here on the sides. And inside we've got the place for the for the game and its contents here. I'll probably put that in while I do the overview of this properly, but same contents that we saw on the sides. So we've got that. 
and then here is the piece oh, here is the piece of the resistance and that is the statue yeah, so we're going to take a look at the statue here very nicely done well we do need the tape again so I'm going to undo this by using the knife here just so we want to tape that and get the knife again and tape that and then we want to unravel this comes in bubble wrap and in this like it's got a stand and everything with it but unravel it it's all in this nice little bubble wrap so so yeah here we have the figure the statue and it's very nicely done this has like nice sheen to it the orange of his trousers has this nice sheen to it we've got the nice black and his kunai pouch there with a nice bandage there his nice black jacket that he wore in the last I haven't seen the film but I know that this is a look we've got the Uzumaki symbol right on the back there very nicely done we've got the nice Uzumaki lit symbol as well on the side here on his red armband and we've got the black now it's like a sweat band type design now with the hidden leaf logo on the top here that is really done nice face design as well we've got the nice like whiskers here on there to represent the whiskers and the nine tails We've got the nice blue eyes as well the hair is very nicely done as well all spiked up on the back another brief look we've got his other pouches that he that he needs to use as a ninja very nice done. but the orange used on here this nice glossy orange is very very nicely done very nicely done and it looks very very phenomenal as well the boots are very nicely done the sandals I mean look very nicely done and it has that nice sheen to it as well and everything other than that is a very nice looking figure there's two peg holes on the stand and there's holes on the figure and here we have Naruto on the space very nicely cool so yeah so let's get on to the other contents now so let's take a proper decent look of the case here very nicely done like I said it's got the same artwork of the Sage 6 path mode mode Naruto here on the sides here on the other side we've got Sasuke nothing really nicely to design the spine here here that much so so we've got got that the game case well it's the generic standard case that we you get on the normal retail release it's the normal retail release of the game case but very nice art we've got the six pass modes of Obito and Madara with Kaguya in the back we've got Naruto and Sasuke as well all the contents there nice back of display picture of what you're going to expect within the game very nicely done and I cannot wait for that looks very very nice strong language and it's a 12 like we expected one to two players online play rumble feature and has remote play as well so you got all that stuff let's take a look at the contents here like I say you got a poster so let's take a quick look at the poster cover art of the main game okay so I might put that up some stage oh advertisement of the season pass pass in here so what I'm going to be doing I'm going to be doing on camera the transfer of the contents I'm going to have my narrator game displayed in the still book here so very easy to do just pop it out of the case transfer it over to the still book and then this is what it looks like now this is the main case for the game and we can take another brief quick look at the plate very nicely done very very nicely done I love the kanji here I love the whole thing this really these whole symbols like patterns they're using here really is generic Japanese type of uh, backdrops that they have like on their on like old paintings and stuff like that but this really reminds me of Shinkenja if you watch Super Sentai and you've seen Samurai Sentai Shinkenja this really reminds me of that but Sasuke being dominant with his Sharingan is all very nicely done very prominent as well really really nicely done and I really do love it it looks really really nice the back is really plain like I mentioned before but this looks really really nice now the big thing and I think this is what takes the cake it's the art book. The art book is one of the enormous things and I'm standing up to 
for us to have a look and I'm going to be panning it up as well it's really really nice and then we've got Storm on there we've got the memories here so this is very nice I love the cover art for this book on the back we've got Sasuke as well same Jeanette like I said this is the same art we've seen on the sides and on the um, still book so pretty much just that but it's done nicely here for the cover so let's open it up and have a quick page flip through so we've got that we've got a nice picture here we're going from Naruto it's Ninja Ultimate Ninja Storm Sasori. No, it's one of the puppets. It's one of uh, Gara's siblings. Got a nice picture of Sasuke here from the game, from the first games, and everything that covers it up. Got Naruto as well on the second page. These are memories and events of the key visuals from the games. So we've got Tamari, Hinata, Tintin. All here. Very looks very nice character design wise. Kashi. We've got Jiraiya, got nice visual cutscenes here. This is all from the first Ninja Storm game. We've got the Akatsuki, we've got Sasori in with his puppet and hit him out of his puppet. I can't remember his name now, but the shark guy. And then we're on to Ultimate Nan Ninja Storm 2 now. Key visuals of this. Well, so, got nice picture of gameplay of the scene from Naruto with Kakashi and Sakura nice picture of Naruto here very nicely done Sasuke wearing his Akatsuki garb and sword looks very very nicely done as well I really really like the look of this got more Sakura here and everything looks really really nicely done by coming to the second page and everything and stuff like that. I just, it just amazes me. If you own the collector's edition, then you're going to be loving the look of this art book and everything, but and, and stuff like that. So, yeah. So that was pretty much the collector's edition content of this. And I've been Kai from Kai's of Take a Corner, and I'll see you next time for another manga anime chapter review. 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 So. Yeah. See you then. Bye bye for. See you then. Bye bye for now. See ya.